Hello and welcome to the first video in the Dr. L Explains series. Today we are going to be looking at atoms, elements and compounds. So without further ado, on to the first of those are atoms. All substances, absolutely everything you can imagine, all substances are made of atoms. We have a classic, classical picture I should say of an atom here. This uh, right in the very centre, we find our protons and our neutrons. And they, together, combined at the centre, they make up our nucleus. These things here whizzing around and about the outside, these are our electrons. Electrons, the structure of an atom shown there. Moving on to elements. Elements are made of only one type of atom. So elements, one type of atom only. For example, if we have an iron atom, which... I can draw there very straightforwardly. The element iron will be lots and lots of these individual iron atoms all bonded together, such as this. Elemental iron shown there. Also, you notice the symbol Fe. That is the elemental symbol for iron. We show chemical symbols and elemental symbols in the periodic table. A very crude diagram of the periodic table shown here. For instance, hydrogen sits up top in the centre, helium across on the right, lithium over here, iron somewhere down in the centre here, and my own personal favourite, phosphorus, sits just over there. In terms of a fuller picture of the periodic table, I can bring this one in. Here we see the periodic table, the one you're familiar with from your exams and tests. Only those highlighted are non-metals. Everything else is a metal in the periodic table. So all of these elements, metals, non-metals over here. Finally, compounds. Compounds are made of more than one type of atom. Compounds are more than one type of atom. Highlight that hole on the end. And they are held together by chemical bonds. They are chemically bonded to one another. As means of an example, water, which hopefully we could all recognise as H2O. Got it drawn here. Our oxygen atom in the centre and our hydrogen atoms. And these are chemical bonds. holding the water molecule or the water compound together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.